I'm honoured, honoured to be invited to chair this important event, celebrating 20 years of amazing achievement uh, by APO, 20 years promoting the extraordinary range of work that contributes to Australia's discourse on public policy. Whether it's royal commissions or government reports or parliamentary inquiries or research undertaken by universities or by think tanks, particularly, but not exclusively here in Australia, these projects are a fundamental part of Australian democracy. At a time, I think, <laughs> when democratic governance and its underlying liberal values are under attack from within and without, under attack from political populism, authoritarianism, autocracy, a rising tide of xenophobic nationalism, and in a time when conspiracy theories uh, roam the web, it's important to declare that democracy's greatest defense from arbitrary exercise of executive authority, democracy's greatest safeguard of citizen rights lies in freedom of speech and freedom of inquiry and freedom of civic engagement combined together with tolerance and respect in public discourse. And as in Australia, we witness rising levels of frustration with the processes of political decision making. As we witness declining levels of trust in political leadership and political integrity, it is important to proclaim, to proclaim loudly the value of policy design, delivery and evaluation based upon evidence including evidence of the extent to which policy decisions are not just effective, but equitable. And so with those challenges in mind, this anniversary function is, I think, an appropriate opportunity to talk about the positive role that can be played in disseminating, as APO does, in disseminating the diversity of evidence that exists to inform and then to test public policies.